Hey guys, Jason here, and today I'm going to be doing a review of iOS 14. Now, I did this video last year with iOS 13, and I'm going to do it again. So, I downloaded iOS 14 on my iPhone SE that I have. I did not download it on my main phone, just because I try not to download the very first version of the huge update on my main phone, because it always drains the battery really quickly. So... That's why. So, but this phone is not my main phone, and I downloaded iOS 14. So, from the looks of it, you can't really tell much has changed. Besides the music, no. Um, yeah. So, there's just, I don't know, a couple things I've noticed. So, let me turn the brightness down even more. Okay. So over here you have widgets now, and you can add them to your home screen, which I don't, I'm not great with change. Like when an app gets deleted and all of them switch, I hate that. It bothers me so much. Like, you know, when you delete an app and then all the other ones move around. Yeah, that's what I meant. So yeah, if I were to move this widget over to the home screen, then all of the apps would move over. On this phone, it wouldn't be an issue. So I'll just show you how that works. So you just take it, hold it, drag it, and add it. And then click the home button. And you can click to like, hug. there we go. Okay. So this could be the weather, this could be photos, this could be a stack of different things and then like I said it just moves the other apps over which to me that would bother me so let's move it back over and you can edit so if you hold on it click edit stack so like right now it has photos batteries and tips so I don't know I don't know if I want that. I don't know though. So let's see. I think, yeah. You can just scroll through them. Battery. I kind of like the battery one. The battery one is pretty useful. Um, what else has changed? Oh yeah, the app pages. Now I don't, these are the only apps I have on this device, so the pages aren't that um, fixed, like not that organized, because I don't have that many apps. But on this phone, my iPhone 7, I have a lot of different apps. So I'll just show you what it looks like when you have a bunch of different apps. So I currently restored this phone because I'm having an issue with it right now. But that's kind of what it looks like. So yeah. Um, another thing I was going to show you was the Translate app. So here's what the Translate app looks like on the outside. It's just this black globe. And right now mine's set to English to Spanish. So from English to Spanish. So I'm just going to say, uh, let's say, I'm reviewing iOS 14. Reviewing iOS 14. Estoy revisando el iOS 14. Okay, and then it says it in Spanish. So it is, estoy revisando el iOS 14. I don't know if I said that right, I don't speak Spanish, but this is very useful. And I believe Apple said that like you can have your iPhone like laying out like in this mode and you can have a conversation with someone and it will translate it as you're having the conversation. I believe that's something they said about this app, so I don't know how well it works, but yeah. Um, Siri is different. 
she no longer takes up the whole de screen of the device like that anymore. Same with calls. Uh, the volume is still the same. So calls will just show up here. They won't take up your whole screen. And you have picture in picture. So I'll show you that on this device since it's a bit bigger. So let's say I go to Apple TV. This doesn't work on every app right now, but it will in the future. Um, okay. I'm just going to continue this. If it will play. I don't have good Wi-Fi right now, so it might not play. It's trying to load. So once you load it, it will have a little, uh, I don't know what it's called, like a little picture-in-picture -picture icon next to these two icons, and then you can just click home, or it will go to the home, and then you can like browse Facebook or Twitter or whatever you would want while you're watching the show. So yeah, um, this is not going to load. Okay, so something I want to show you with Siri was her response. So we all know the famous zero divided by zero. Her response on iOS 14 is a little different. What is zero divided by zero? It's loading. I'm on it. She's on it. Imagine that you have zero cookies and you split them evenly among zero friends. How many cookies does each person get? See, it doesn't make sense. And Cookie Monster is sad that there are no cookies. And your friends are sad because they don't exist. Oh wow, this escalated quickly. So it's kind of actually funnier, but I don't know if I like it better. Here's the old one. What is zero divided by zero? Imagine that you have zero cookies, oh. and you split them evenly among zero friends. How many cookies does each person get? See, it doesn't make sense. And Cookie Monster is sad that there are no cookies. And your friends are sad because they don't exist. Oh wow, this escalated quickly. Okay, so I guess it's new and I was 13 too. Um, I promise I don't have 14 on this phone because of the music app, it's still the old one. Yeah. I did not know Siri changed that. Okay, um, besides widgets, what else? Um, the sleep features on your Apple Watch, which I'm really excited to try, but I just really don't want to download iOS 14 on this phone yet. Um, yeah. The app library. Um, the only th issue I had was with this iPhone. So, when I updated it, the flashlight, it says it's on. The flashlight doesn't work. And the camera doesn't work. So the camera stopped working and the flashlight. So I don't know. Because the flashlight will flash intermittently sometimes. It will come on, but it will flash and then won't be on. And the camera has not come on maybe once. So I'm hoping with the next update that gets fixed. Because I really would like to use the camera. And the front one doesn't work either. Both cameras don't work. So I don't know what's going on. But with the SE, they do. They work just fine. Flashlight. I don't know where. Camera. They both work. So I don't know what happened to this phone. I really don't. So yeah, and Apple is closed due to COVID. So I can't get it fixed. Actually, I think they might be open now. But it's limited. I don't know. So yeah, I'm hoping that with 13 or 14.1, sorry. or Yeah, 14.1. It fixes the issue. I'm really hoping. Um... As far as battery life goes, I don't think maybe it's as terrible because they didn't release a new iPhone yet. 
So it might not be as terrible right now. Let me look real quick. Battery. Yeah, it's... What in the world? Not for 37%. Ooh. For two minutes. I guess that's not great. But this phone is old, so... It's at 86%. So yeah, that's my review. See you later.